Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Derek Bennett's Bass Lessons. Thank you for tuning in. Let's jump right into it. What's up, everybody? Uh, I get asked this question a lot. Uh, what do you do for dexterity? Okay. Um, very good question. Um, this is just one of the exercises that I do to this day to contribute to that. Um, because you always want to have that finger independence. Always want to have that finger independence. And what better way to do it than use some arpeggios? So what I did was I just started with a major arpeggio, a major seven. All right. C major seven. Got C, E, G and B, okay? So the first note, third note, fifth note, and seventh note of the major scale. First, third, fifth, seventh. So all I'm doing is I'm just ascending. I'm not coming back down, I'm just, I'm just going up, okay? The next one, using a minor arpeggio, minor seven arpeggio, so it's doing the same thing. All right, we got C minor seven. You got first note, third note, fifth note, seventh note. Okay, of the minor scale. All right, so you got major scale and minor scale. This is what we're basing it off of. Okay, we're just going back and forth, alternating the two. Okay, so major seven arpeggio, minor seven. Okay, that's it. Afterwards, we just modulate. All right, we take it up. We take it up a half step and a half step and a half step and a half step and so forth. And the reason why this, this flows so well, and it actually sounds harder than, than what it is, actually. Um, after you finish the minor, after you finish the minor arpeggio, the second finger lands right on the next note that you need to get to, the C sharp, all right? The next note will be C sharp if you modulate. All right, and you have the C sharp major seven arpeggio and the C sharp minor seven arpeggio, okay? So, next note, D, D, D sharp. Now you get the idea. So we're just, we're just alternating between the two. And the reason why I modulate this exercise is because you have to realize uh, the size of the frets, the spacing between the frets down here versus up here or even up here. So while you're running, while you're going up, while you're ascending, your fingers are getting more narrow and more narrow. So I went from, so if you, if you see this arpeggio, all right, see how small my fingers are, you know, how close my fingers are together versus down here, all right? That's one of the reasons why I, I modulate this this exercise. So it just works for, for uh, just dex dexterity in general. So. After a while, you'll be able to just kind of fly through it because it just flows so well. Like I said, like I said your fingers kind of land right where they're supposed to land. So that is the major minor 
uh, major and minor arpeggios alternating exercise. It helps me a lot. It's been helping me. I, like I said, I still use it to this day. Go work it out. Till next time. Oh, almost forgot. Make sure you head over to DerekBennett.com. DerekBennett. Dot, should be floating around somewhere. Head over to DerekBennett.com. Submit your email address. Sign up for the free trial. We got videos coming every single week. All sorts of material from uh, grooving to technique to phrasing to riffs, runs, licks, whatever you want to call them, to exercises, courting. Uh, you get the idea. All right. Go check it out. Till next time. <laughs>